That's right. All right, all right. Shalom, y'all. The brother was well uh, spoke well in the spirit. Y'all understand y'all Israelites now, right? Right? Y'all understand that? Y'all understand what's required of y'all being Israel? So get Psalms 119, verse 9. Bring it up. Bring it Psalms up. 119 and verse 9. And I want to ask you something right here too, brother, because you've been standing here for a long time. So I want to ask you something. Right, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Well, with all, shall a young man cleanse his way? So it's about to explain to us how a young man supposed to clean his ways, right? Read. By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. So we have to take heed to the most high God's word. You understand that? This is a rock one and five. So that's how we clean our ways. By taking heed to the commandments of God. That's the word. That's what we're about to read right now. Bring it Sirach out. 1 verse 5. Read. The book of Sirach chapter 1 verse 5. The word of God most high is the fountain of wisdom. So the word of the most high is the fountain of wisdom. Yes. Read. And her ways are everlasting commandments. And the ways of what? And her ways are everlasting commandments. Everlasting commandments, brother. So yeah, hey, y'all got to start keeping the commandments. Hey, brother, right here with the hat, the glasses. Come right here, right fast. So you say you believe in God, right? I always believe in God. You believe in God? Yeah. Let's get to Rock 32, verse 24. So I'm about to ask you a quick question right now, right? So I want you to answer this for me. We're going to read something out the Bible to you. Sirach 32, verse 24. Let's go. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse 24. Bring it out. He that believe it in the Lord. He that believe in the Lord. What your name is, brother? Alan. Alan. So, Alan, if you believe in the Lord, read it from the top again. He that believe it in the Lord, take heed to the commandments. So, if you believe in God, you're going to take heed to the commandments of God. That's right. You understand that? That's right. You've been understood. It's obedience. Okay, obedience. So, so Alan, tell me a commandment, right, that you're supposed to be keeping, that you're not. <laughs> come right here, brother. That would be kind of hard because I pretty much keep a majority of them, but the ones that I don't keep ain't because I'm not keeping. It could be because. So just give me one. Just give me one. Thou that shall, you. Thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. So you, is you loving your neighbor as yourself? Yes, I do. All right. We about to explain something to you, right? Let's uh, go to uh, Exodus 20 and verse 8. Watch this here. Because you're right. We have to love our neighbors as ourselves. Meaning, we have to be an example to our neighbors, right? Because we teach not only by read from this Bible, but we teach by our actions. You understand that? So read this here. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What that's talking about, Alan? <laughs> Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What that's talking about? That's talking about keeping everything biblical, everything holy, everything that God respects on that day should be kept that day. Nothing else outside of what he has prepared for that day should be done. Okay. Only what he wants. Okay, all right. So let's, let's break it down. Let's simplify, right? Bring because we're going to speak plain out here. What day is the Sabbath day? It's the day. It's the day. So how do we keep it? By being obedient to his word, doing what he say do, stay together as one under his Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm just going to use the word you say. Stay together, right? So that means gather together, right? Gather together. Is you gathering together with your brothers? I'm here. You here? I'm gathering with you now. All right, and we appreciate you being out here, right? But do you supposed to be buying, selling, cooking on a Sabbath day? I'm not supposed to do any of that. No? no? So you understand, so you haven't bought anything, you haven't cooked anything today. Well, I haven't cooked anything, but I did buy a Gatorade. Though. You did buy a Gatorade. So, Alan, you're not loving your neighbor as yourself. You're breaking that commandment, right? Because a brother will see you buying a Gatorade, young man, and think it's okay for them to be doing that. You understand that? So you teaching by your actions. That's right. You understand that? So let me show you another command because you believe in God that you're supposed to be keeping. You understand? Let's go to Leviticus 21 and verse 5. Bring it out. We ain't going to say out. nothing that's hard to be understood. Right? 
an eight-year-old child gonna be able to understand what we're Bring talking up, about. Man. Right? Let's go. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make bonus upon their head. Alan, what is that talking about? They shall not make bonus upon their head. What that's talking about? Anything that's against the word of God. Doing anything outside what he say don't do. Alan, read that. Listen, Alan. Listen. Let's go. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head. You should not make boldness. boldness. Okay. So what that's saying? I'm not sure about that one. You, you don't support to shave your head, right? Michael John, Tyrese, all that stuff is out the window. That's You're not right. supposed to be shaving your head, right? right? You understand that, right? You agree with that? Yeah. All right, because the Bible said it, right? Read. Neither, neither, read, shall they shave off the corner of their beard. What that's talking about, Alan? Not having it neat and trim. Let the ends just do as they do. Don't have it trimmed up. No, that's trim. not saying that, right? Because we can trim our beard according to Ezekiel right. 5 and 1. Let's read that right fast so he can understand it. You understand? But we're going to get you to understand we can groom ourselves. We don't supposed to be looking any kind of way. Because we are children of the most high God. We are the salt of the earth. Right? Read. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 5, verse 1. And thou son of man, take thee a sharp knife, and take thee a barber razor. Take you a sharp knife, which is a barber's razor. Read. And cause it to pass upon thy head. And cause it to pass it upon thy head. Meaning you could trump. You could groom yourself up. Bring it out. You understand Bro. that? So let's go back to Leviticus 21 and 5. Again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So we can't get a bald head. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You're supposed to shave off the corner of your beard, right? So I see you have a beard line, right? But what you did is, you went and trimmed it, and you made it out of gold teeth. You don't supposed to be doing that, Alan. That's against the commandments of God. That's right. Right? So remember, you say you believe in God. And believing in God is taking heed to the commandments. That's right. So now you know, right, how to keep the Sabbath day. Did we explain that to you? How to keep it? No buying, cooking, or selling. Right? And you're supposed to gather together with your brothers. Not by yourself. Right? You understand that? All right? Frigid. Let's get the long frigid. Bring hey, we just gonna keep it basic. We're gonna keep it real simple. Right? Because guess what? The commandments of God is not hard to do. They're not grievous. All right. You got a good spirit on you, brother. I like that. Let's go. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to Alan, because guess what, Alan? You're an Israelite. You agree? Free. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. Make them fringes. What is fringes, Alan? Alright, look at us. Look at us. This fringes. You understand that? Look at all us. We have fringes on our clothes, right? Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So you have to make fringes in the borders of your garments. Okay. You understand that? Read. Throughout their generation. Throughout your generation. Right? So let's see what it's for. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. So you have to put the ribbon of blue. So you have to put a ribbon of blue, right? On, on the top of the fringe. Right. You understand that? Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. It's supposed to be unto you for a fringe. This is a commandment. Right? Let's see what it's for. Read. That ye may look upon it. So you're going to look upon it. Right? Read. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. Remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. So you're going to remember all the commandments of God. Don't shave your head. Don't cut off your beard. Right? Keep the Sabbath day holy. Yeah. That's what these fringes are for. Okay. Right. You understand that? 
Gotcha. So, got any more questions? No, actually, I pretty much understand it once you break it down. Everyone don't break it down so understandable to certain people's uh, understanding. You know, so sometimes it can be complicated trying to remember too much of it. And some right. people start leaning to their own understanding, which you say lean out onto. So it's best to just acknowledge the word of God, constantly go over, read it, pray, ask for understanding, perceive it from your brother. Get Psalms 111 and verse 10. I'll pray. I'll pray. Psalms 111 and verse 10. I'm going to show you something right fast. Psalms 111 and verse 10. Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Read out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Right? Read. A good understanding. A good understanding. Read. Have all they that do his commandments. So you have to be doing the commandments, Alan, to have a good understanding of this Bible. That's right. You understand that? So let's go to 1 Corinthians, first, uh, chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Bring it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Bring it up. Bring it up. Man, Gerald here, he said he got some questions about God. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, <laughs> verse 3. Bring it up. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man right is who, Alan? It's Christ. It's Christ. Right? Right here. Read. And the head better, huh? of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is who? I ain't going to pay attention. So you're the head of the woman, right? right. Read. Right. And the head of Christ is God. So every, you understand that? You understand God and Christ are two different people. All right, read. Every man oh, praying or prophesying. So every man praying or prophesying meaning reading the word and listen to the word. Read. Read. Having his head covered. Having your head covered. Alan, what that talking about? The head. Hang on your head. Yeah. Right? Read. Dishonor his head. So you dishonoring your head. My head is God, the Lord. Right. Exactly. Dishonoring the Lord. So if you have a head on when the word of God coming out, what you doing? This order really is long. So what you gonna do? Remove the cap. Oh, pray. Let's give Alan a hand. Oh, pray. That's, that's good. That's good. Let's get uh Psalms 119, verse 59. Hey, what your name is again? Gerald. 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 Don't go nowhere, Alan. We working with you, bro. We have a good spirit on you, man. That's right. For real. What your question is? It's God. Is God true? All right. He want to know if God true. Bring you understand that? So let's go to the book of uh, Amos 3 verse 1. Watch this here. I'm going to show you something. And you're going to be able to tell me if God true or not. Let's go to the book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Read. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken unto you. Oh, children of Israel. So the Most High God talking to the children of Israel, right? Right? So you got God talking to a certain people. You understand that? Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So the Most High God brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. We were slaves over there, right? Bring it out. Read. Saying, you only have I known. So he only know the Israelites. Gerald, you understand that? Read of all the families of the earth. So of uh, all these nations, you only know the Israelites, right? Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So he said he's going to punish us for our sins. You understand that? So look, let me ask you a quick question, right? This is considered the hood, right? This is considered the hood? Yeah. Where you live at, Gerald? You live down there. All right, this is a good neighborhood or is this a bad neighborhood? It's kind of bad, right? But look, look, they're selling drugs right there, right? They prostituting our sisters, they horn out our sisters. You understand that? So guess what? God said he's going to punish us for our iniquities, right? Let me show you us being punished for our iniquities. And you tell me if God is real. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse what? Uh, cursed in the city. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 
Verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall you be in the city, right? And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed in the field, meaning we curse in our neighborhoods. We at the bottom. We have to go to our enemies for everything. You understand that? Yes, sir. So you tell me if that's a God or not. That's a God. That's a God. So what color is that God? Black. He's black. Oh, okay. black. Right. Look, he punishing his people, which is us. We black, right? You understand that? So let's show him Christ being black in the Bible. Bring it up. Let's show him that. So get as a God. He punishing us, the children of Israel, yes. from breaking his commandments. That's right. right? We at the bottom because of our sins. You understand that? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. It's about to be revealed, right? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 4. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So this John, right? So he heard a verse behind him, right? So he turned, if you turn around, you want to hear who's talking to you, right? So John turned around because he heard a verse behind him, right? Chapter the first 14. Let me finish that, 13. And see right in the book. And, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So when he turned around, he saw seven golden candlesticks. Look at this picture over here. You understand, you see this picture? We got this black man with a menorah behind him. This is seven golden candlesticks that he's seen. You right? Drop down to verse 14. Verse 14, his head and his hair were white like wool. So his head and his hair was white like wool, right? The hair on his head was white like wool, meaning he had a head full of gray hair. Read. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes was as a flame of fire. And his eyes was as a flame of fire, right? Because he drank wine in moderation. According to Genesis 49 and 12, right? That was the prophecy. Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. So his feet like fine bread. Hey, listen, pay attention. What color is bread? Brass. Brass is a brown color. You ever seen a penny? You know the color of a penny? What color is it? Brown. Brownish, right? That's brass, read. As if it burned in a furnace. If, as if it burned in a furnace. You ever seen anything get burnt in a furnace? Like if you throw paper on a fire, what color are you going to turn? Red. Red? If you burn rice on a stove, you ever seen your mom burn rice? Oh. What color is it going to turn? Black. It's going to turn black. That's right. right. So Christ was a black man according to the Bible. That's right. right. You understand that? Yes. Get John 1 and 47. The up. book of John, let's see where he was from. Let's see his nationality. John verse 1, 47. Read. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 47. And Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said of him, Behold, a Israelite indeed. You see that? Christ was an Israelite indeed. Right. You understand that? So you is an Israelite from the tribe of what? You see your nationality on his side? Look, right here. You see? What is your nationality? American black. You're American black, so you'll be from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, Christ right. come from that same old tribe. You understand that? Yes, sir. Alright. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.